you mercilessly went back home to do the same thing to Mama. A blind widow. How dare you? What come over you? How can you even believe that? That I will poison your snacks? What would be my game? Freedom. You want the freedom to go away and end what? Stop it! Stop for a moment and think. If freedom from the crisis in our family is what I desire, why would I want to kill any of you to achieve that? I mean, I can simply just go to any big city, join these girls that live properly and live life on the first place without having to soil my hands with blood. My own blood! Without killing us, we will be a big scare on your conscience wherever you go. The thought of us will never allow you to enjoy your freedom. That's why you did it. Deny it. Deny it, Shama. Assuming you were right, which do you think will be the biggest scare to my conscience? Abandoning both of you? Okay. Or killing my own blood brother and my mother? Which? Listen, Shama, I don't ever want to set my eyes on you. Again, whatever happens, henceforth, I don't want you getting involved in my case. If they wish to roast me alive, get away. Let them do it. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to Mama. Pray that she survives just like my Some men who ate my own snacks did. Just pray, Chama. Pray! What up? Come on, take me out of here! You have to believe your own sister. I need to do it! Go, take me out! Mama, Sokoto's son was awful. But I thank God I'm back. It's finally over. <laughs> and Mama, I didn't come back the way I left. Okay. Mama, I'm back with my NYC certificate. <laughs> 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 Their son is through with his national son. You are sure? This son is <laughs> meant to be greater than his father. Papa, thank Ooh. God. Thank God that made it. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Papa, one minute, let me, let me pay the right man here. I'm coming. Pay, 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 pay. Pay, pay. Pay. Wow. Hey. Hey. Welcome to the People's Palace. Osmond and uh, Arinze. 
I invited both of you here with your fathers for something very important to me. It is so important to me that I am today breaking a tradition I've maintained since I ascended the throne. My next birthday is five months away. But I've decided not to wait until then. What I need to do today must be done. Today, not in five months time. Osman. Your Majesty, your father has been my own since I ascended this throne of my fathers in my youthful age. Without your father, I don't know how I could have been able to rule this vast kingdom. Thank you, Igwe. Yeah, my thank, you, thank you. You will live long. <sighs> Arinze. Your Majesty. Your father, Inua, is a trusted friend. Igwe. You see this man here? I will carry his friendship down to my your majesty. He will live forever. You will live long, your majesty. If only these fools knew what I'm doing this for. If only they know what I'm setting them up for. <laughs> That's why I'm decided to appreciate both of you. you have in your hands are appointment letters to my oil servicing company on a monthly salary of 200,000 naira and <laughs> Forthcoming exams. Thank you. Come on, Chioma. What sacrifice didn't you and our parents make to see me through school? Hmm? Your mates are in their third year in the university now, and you had to stay back so that our parents' lean resources can can see me through school first. And now that God has blessed me with a job. What sacrifice wouldn't I make for the good of all of you? In fact, if I had my way, I would have sent you to Oxford University straight. Or maybe Yale. Huh? I know. <laughs> I know you would do anything for my joy. Of course. For the joy of our family. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. I promise I will make you, Papa and Mama, very proud. By the time I write my exams and come out in flying colors. 
<laughs> I know you're very intelligent. Mm. Thank you. So, Thanks. when we finish for the day... Ah, Tifoba. Excuse me. Okay. Good afternoon, Chief. I should proceed to Ihube General Hospital. I hope, I hope Osman is fine. My parents? What about my parents? Okay, okay. I I'm coming right away with my younger sister. Yes. Yes. Okay. What did he say happened to our parents? He said he would tell me once I get there. What is that supposed to mean? The bus phone is off. I saw his mama's. God, I just... Um, yes, I'm ready. You see, none of the neighbors who stopped me while I was driving past your compound and begged me to help take your parents to the hospital could actually tell me what really happened. See, all they could tell me was that they, they heard a gunshot <coughs> and the sound of a, 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 a car driving on a high speed from your compound. By the time they could get to your house to know what was going on, they saw your father shot dead and your mother. <coughs> What? It's calm down, bro. Go easy. You see? Thank God, because by the time we got here, mom was still alive. All right. Um, the doctor and his team took her in to for some checkup. Yes. 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 Don't worry about the place. What's going on? Oh, calm down, calm down. I know how devastated you may be right now, but I tell you, there's two hope for your mother. You mean it? Yes, uh, thanks to this young man who rushed her here on time. We have successfully stopped the bleeding and the nurses have taken her to the ward. So come down. Okay. No, okay. Can we see her? Yeah. To my mother. What is this man doing to her face? Oh, they haven't told you? Ah, uh, well, um, you really have to be strong about this, okay? Strong about what? Huh? Was she as it attacked? Uh, no, uh, but whosoever that uh, murdered your father also pierced your mother's eyes. Again, I accept my sympathy for the tragedy in your family. Uh, it seems um, there is a good news on your mother's state. Mm. Yes, one of the eyes can be salvaged. Really? Oh, of course. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. You don't have to thank me. You should act fast before it gets late. What do we have to do? Act you mean? Uh, well, a complex uh, surgery has to be conducted on that particular eye within 36 hours or she could go blind completely. I have contacted the only hospital that has such uh, facilities to take care of such cases and they are ready to receive her, but with a cavet. Cavet? Doctor, what cavet, please? Uh, well, they will want to have a deposit of 1.5 million naira from you before they can accept to offer her such facility.
sure that the people Dr. Sam recommended are competent enough to uh, handle this kind of delicate operation? I, I have no choice but to trust them, Your Highness. The peculiarities of this situation leaves me with no other option. If your mother needs to be taken abroad, I'm ready to take care of it all. See, you are more of family to me than just mere subjects. Your Majesty, I, I know, I understand. But going by the doctor's expressed professional opinion, taking that option means that my mother will go completely blind before the necessary arrangements would have been concluded. And I wouldn't want that to happen to her. But after what happened to my father. Yes. Your Highness. I understand. I understand, my boy. I understand. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. All right. Good luck. So good. Please yes. give my warmest regards and condolences to your mother and your sister. I'll be making small, small money like is you guys now. Is that what you're saying in a low tone? Ah, well, chill, my bro. I know you guys are doing well. It's just that I know everything is step by step. Okay. Ah. Shut, shut, shut up! Oh, One more word from you, I'll blow your fucking head off. Smooth. Put your hands on your head. Blow your head. Smooth. Fast! Put on your head, please. Lower your head, please. Please, Osmond. Please. Please.
this is from the off now four times. Not now, people know. Not now. Uh, where is your brother? I've not seen him. Like you said, I thought you were watching it. He's coming. Uh, the eye hospital they just called, they did not seen any yard. They will get it. They will get it in a short while, doctor. The last time I spoke with my brother on the phone, he told me that he was just leaving the Igwe's palace with the $4,000 he gave him for that purpose. And so he will make the exchange at the bank and then make the payment in the same bank. They will get their last very soon, I promise you. That's okay. Her vital signs are getting stronger. She may regain her consciousness before the day runs out. What, what, what about her sight? Any form of stress on her may worsen the case of the one redeemable eye. My opinion, the only way to stop her not to be subjected to any form of emotional or physical stress is to wake up and see herself going where her sight will be regained, at least. And it all lies on you people on how fast you get the money. Excuse me. He, he drew a gun at me uh, and before I could say what, he, he snuck me out with a chemical. When I woke up, the money you gave me was gone, your majesty. I couldn't find him. Oh, yes, Capitans. Your majesty, thank you for coming in and so short space. Thank you. Your majesty, the people in the office are still station. Explain to them everything you've been trying to tell me. Perhaps they will understand you. <laughs> you your Majesty, I, I, are you getting me arrested? It was all small. Officers, take him out, right? I do not want to see any stone left unturned in this investigation. Please. Your Majesty, we are going to do a thorough job. That I can promise you. No. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? God, where are you? God, where are you? God is in the house. Can't you see the pain? I'm going to get inside the car later. I'm being set up. Can't you see? I'm going to get inside the car. Is this set up? Right? Move down, man. You said you never abandoned us, Lord. God, where are you? Please calm down, Your Majesty. Did I hear you say, calm down? My six hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars is gone. The guy I wanted is gone. God knows where. And all you can tell me is, calm down. Come on, Stanley. What's wrong with you? Have you become a soft buffoon or what? I'm so sorry, Your Majesty. No, but. That boy is a criminal. A criminal with $696,000 to his kitty. A knowledge of a plot. 
could make me taste the firing squad is the least thing I wanted when I started this whole affair. I do not want surprises. Least of all, this kind of dangerous surprise. All right. So you came back only to report a failure. You couldn't kill him with his useless friends so that we could use his cops and finish a reason through the law. Now this story you came back with Your Majesty, I've already mobilized one of my best men to track him and kill him. And I am giving you my word that it will be done within days and not weeks. Assuming I believe you, how do we handle this new twist it has thrown in Arisa's side? How do we push our narrative that he murdered Osmond in order to steal my daughters? And you know that that's the only way we can be assured of getting a death sentence. And you know that the whole purpose of all of this Your Majesty, I suggest we change the narrative to kidnapping and possibly killing Oswald. And by the new anti-kidnapping law of the state, kidnapping is now a capital offense too. And I have already formulated a plan B based on the narrative. Without Oswald found or killed, my man will find and kill him. I am very sure of that. So I, I suggest we discuss about the new plans, your majesty. <laughs> Where is your father? He's coming. Shema. Yes. Shema, you're lying. You're lying, aren't you? Mama, the doctor says your sight will be restored. Papa and Arinze are rallying around trying to get the pond needed for it. How are you feeling now? I feel, I feel horrible. I understand. You will soon be fine, okay? Chola, hmm? what about the boy that did this to me? Has he been arrested? No. Not yet. The police are still hunting for him. I believe soon he will be apprehended and, and, and punished for his wickedness. Why? Why? Why be of all people, Chow? What am I done to the devil that did this to me? What? <laughs> am I talking? Only God knows why what happened today happened. It's not for any human being to know. 
he alone knows. And it's fine because he alone can bring us justice. Yes. Yes, you're right. God knows why. He may not. He may not know why. Chama, call your father. I want to talk to him. Mama, let's, let's not disturb Papa. He's, he's actually busy at the moment. Chama, I said you should call your father. I want to talk to my husband, your father. At least to tell him that I'm awake. How is that a disturbance? Papa, I wonder. Only what? Shama. Shama. I know. I know I cannot see your face. But I can hear it from your voice. I can also feel it. You are lying, aren't you? I am not lying. Then call your father. I want to talk to him. Oh, I want to also talk to Arinze. Then their number. Give me the phone. Do it now, John. I can't. I, I can't. Why? This message. This is love. Pierced your eyes. So, where is your brother? He promised to be here with the money. Where is he? What? He will not be coming. He was... He was framed up and arrested on his way to this place for various crimes. You told your mother this? No wonder. Well, she suffered a serious heart attack and that has affected her damaged sight. Sorry, your mother is now Hey! 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 
Tu peux me voir tout le temps. I'm so confused. I mean, so what should I do? Tell me what to do, please. Did the doctor tell you anything about my last survival chances? He wasn't specific on that. And he didn't sound quite hopeful too. As I said earlier, you can see for yourself. They subjected me to another round of torture. When you left earlier, and they are threatening to continue. Why? Why are they doing this? What do they really want? That I take responsibility for what I did not do. How can I do that, Chama? How can I? Please. Something needs to be done. Or they will kill me here. With the rate they are going. Please help your brother. Help me. Help you. How? I don't know why I help you. If His Majesty, as much as ought I work to them to stop. This torture is happening on his express orders. Go to him. Plead with him on my behalf. Chama, you know me. You know that I can't even contemplate what they accuse me of. I'm innocent. Please, please go to his majesty and convince him as much. Please. I will. If you refuse to listen to me, what do I do then? There is only one person His Majesty can never say no to. The second richest man in this kingdom after him, Ichi Ozawa. He, Papa, and His Majesty were the best of friends that anyone can think of in the entire kingdom. According to their friendship, they started way back together when they were in primary school. It shows that it's more of a, a hardliner on issues, but I believe he will listen to you. At least, for God's sake, if you convince him, you have convinced his majesty. Speak to his conscience. Cry to him. Beg him. Just make sure you convince him. Please, Joe. Please. Of your 
evil brother. Return! Go and ask him to confess to his evil crimes and set everybody here free. Let him say where Osmond is, where he kept him. I've already told him to keep the money. Let him keep the entire six hundred and ninety-six thousand dollars of mine. Let him release Osmond. Walk away, free man. Now, isn't that lenient enough? Isn't that? Your Majesty, that would have been the case if my brother is guilty as charged. But he is innocent. My brother is only a victim of a crime. <laughs> now, you are cruelty personified. Yes, that's what you are. You are. If you ever, ever come round here, if I ever see you around this palace, now you break every ounce of this home, this useless home. Now throw her out. Please, my brother is innocent. Wait, wait, wait. Let me break his matches. Your matches, please. My brother is innocent. The pain is too much. Open it. Open it. Two million naira. More than the money you requested for to take care of your mother's sides. Hmm? <laughs> As for your brother, consider him a free man already. Uh, as soon as I drop you at the bank, uh, I will go to the king and beg on his behalf. Uh, in fact, everybody knows that uh, there is nothing I ask from the king and he doesn't do. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, If not for another day. I would do it uh, because of uh, the close friendship I had with your father all his life. You really won't understand how devastated I feel about uh, what happened to him and your mother. In fact, you have brought everything to an end by coming to me. Yes. Thank you, Chi. <laughs> Chi, God will bless you. Yeah, thank God will reward you heavily oh, for this. I can't thank you enough. You are welcome. Thank you are welcome. So much. You are welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank Get what you have. Uh, what others do, which they are close off. Huh? Huh? What? You, you mean. You mean sex? Of course, yes. Yes. You chose her. Your third daughter is my eighth mate. Oh, come on. The man whose money that your brother was alleged to have stolen is not just my king, he's more of a brother to me. And the man whose son your brother was alleged to have kidnapped is a very close family friend. So what, what, what do you think made me to agree to assist you people in the first place? My Tell father. Me. Mm. Think about my father. Your childhood friend. A man who 
since you lost your wife six years ago, always made sure that his wife made your supper whenever you are in the kingdom. How do you think my father would feel hearing you say this to his own daughter? Just hours after his gruesome mother with his family still crumbling under the weight of this tragedy. Uh, the dead neither see nor talk. I better take my leave now. Come on, Chama. You people need the money and my help. Yes, we do. Good. But not in exchange for my pride as a woman. Come on. The world is not a moral arena, Chama. Neither is it an arena for brazen immorality. We are crying every day. The pain is too. Talk to please go straight to the point. The lawyer I consulted to help my brother is in his car outside waiting for me. And every second wasted could be my brother's last. I don't get this. Is there anyone threatening to kill him? So Sam, why did you insist that I come immediately? I'm here now, now. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, the situation now, the surgery on your mother's eyes is no more necessary. Yes, getting her back on her feet is what we should be talking about. And that will take a whole lot of money. 150,000 there. Yes, and I will uh, like to get it before I do anything. With what happened to your brother, have to get it first before or oh, I threw her out. You, you can't be. I am damn serious, Choma. What do I have to do to convince you? Pay the whole money up front today. Jesus, don't do that. Go and meet the accountant. Come back here with the evidence that you have paid. That's it. Talk to me. Please. Don't do this. Doctor, don't do this so. I'm begging you, I'm begging you in God's name. We'll pay you, we'll pay you every money, every dime. As soon as my mother recovers, we will we'll pay you. No deal. Yes. I won't commence any treatment on your mother anymore until I get that money before 9 a.m. tomorrow. Hold on to this. We'll pay the balance in three days. Pico, please, I'm begging you, please. In three days, you said. I said to go. We are crying every day. You won't pay me. The pain is too much to bear. Help us, Lord. Can't you see the pain we are feeling? While in God's name will His Majesty. Call and order me to do this to this lady and threatens that he is going to destroy my career if I don't do it. Why is he being so correct to this family who are passing through a whole lot? God. He said that his consultation fee is 20,000 naira. And it must be paid before anything else follows. He equally said that we must pay him 400,000 naira to represent you in court. Half of which must be paid up front. I cried my eyes out in his office, pleading with him to follow me to this place without any payment yet. The 10,000 naira I paid at the hospital was the last of my savings. Eh? What do we do? God. Why is all this happening now? What? What is that? How did it go? 
Well, no one will ever touch on you again. That I've effectively stopped. And there ends the charity work. Until my consultation fee and half of my main charge is being paid. I'm afraid I'm not the case. Thank you very much for saving my life. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. I promise you one thing. We will never owe you. We will never ever owe you. I promise. But boy, you need to sit down and, and hear me out. Let me tell you my own part of the story. Well, we have all the time in the world for that once I confirm my payment. See you down. Hey! Hi, friend is the only one I saw that can help at this moment. What else man took my phone? Oh. And I, I don't have his number off head. <coughs> Choma. Choma. You have to go back to the barrister. Convince him. By any means possible, convince him to get me out of here. I need to come out so that I can join you to handle Mama's case and we can equally plan Papa's funeral. Please, Joma, please. I was actually with the lawyer I consulted to help out in my brother's case when you were calling me. I'm sorry I couldn't come immediately. Rico, why were you calling? You kept calling, insisting that I come immediately. Uh, well, as you already know, uh, this hospital is funded by the state government. I don't know how the Commissioner of uh, Health got to know about your mother's case. He called me a while ago and ordered me to withdraw the three days grace I give to you. What? That means you have to pay every dime. And that should be done before 10 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, now, how is that possible? Doctor, you, you can't do this. You can't do this to us, please. Shoma, I am only a civil servant. I don't own this establishment. If I disobey the commissioner's uh, orders, uh, I may be sacked. Is that what you want? No, no, that's not what I want at all. Doctor, surely there must be something you can do for us. Please. Well, there is a way out, but it all depends on you. Me? Yes, you. I can pay off the bill. But in exchange of one thing from you. What is it, Doctor? Two rounds of sex. Here and now. If you're ready, I am ready. Disgusting 
But what can I do? He has a dangerous information about me, which I really need to wrap up. And that was it. Shit! <sighs> I can't bear this cross anymore. It's too heavy for me to bear. Everybody has abandoned us. Oh, please, get up. Get up and help us. Everything. I have lost everything. He killed him, Jimmy. A friend I trusted and helped recently took him away from me. I need my family back. I need company. I need you, Mama. I really need you. Still roommates in your first day in university. I took you in like a brother. I took you like a brother. See, I made sure you didn't enter into any campus court because I didn't want you to be contaminated with crimes just like me. Kelly, I protected you. From all forms of intimidations, humiliations on campus. <laughs> no one dared to mess with you, Kelly, because they know that I will explode in the face of whoever that does that. How could you, Kelly? How could you, Kelly? How could you pay me with such betrayal? I can explain I was recruited by a secret service operative to work as a student free agent for the DSS, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> he asked you to spy on heads of campus courts and secretly video record them while committing actual crimes. And you agreed. You agreed. You did the job for three years. Three long years. Kelly? Without finding out why no arrests were made based on the videos you made. And you agreed. Kelly, you agreed. You did the job for three long years. Three long years. He didn't even care to know why no arrests were made. He didn't even care to know why no arrests were made based on the video you, you gave to him, right? Kelly! Just because of 50,000 naira. Just because he was paying you 50,000 naira monthly. Just because of 50,000 naira, you messed my life up, Kelly. You messed my life up. You recorded me and my friends killing the daughter of an Anglican bishop during a fair grave stunt. And you gave the tape to a rogue officer 
working for rogue politicians and other criminals in this country. Do you know how many times? Do you know how many times I and my guys have been blackmailed, committing heinous crimes for people with the tape, with this same tape? Do you know? Three times. Three horrible times, Kelly. And this time, this time the crime is such that I can't even return to the land of my to the land of my birth. Rezo. Rezo was murdered right in front of me and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything to save him. I am my father's only son. Do you know what that means to my father? Do you? <laughs> Honestly, all smart. I never knew that Mr. Kenneth was not a DSS operative. Oh, what he was actually using the tape for till now. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, I'm very, very sorry. I, I feel like a compact idiot right now. Yes, I. Like, like, I'm, I'm really, really, very really sorry. I don't even know what to say right now. Please, please, Shut up! Your apology is rejected. It is too late. <laughs> Kelly, it's too late. I'm sorry. Just today, dig up my native kingdom. Use the same tape you made and forced Rezo to kill an innocent man. After forcefully placing the eye of his wife with a sharp object. Mm -hmm. Kelly, mm -hmm. as if that was not enough, I was forced to commit another crime that would make the man's only son to get arrested for armed robbery. I am still alive talking to you because I am smarter than Rezo. Who trusted him so much and got killed by Ibrahim's henchman's bullets. Well, I survived, not just to run away and live a good life far away with Ibrahim's money, but for revenge. Revenge, Kelly! Revenge against you and Mr. King! Well, Kelly, it's too late for you. It's too late for your apologies. By the way, I trust Mr. Kenny before coming here. And I ended it for him and his entire family with bullets in their heads. Not before he confessed with evidence that you, Kelly, was the one who made the tape and gave it to him. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Open it. Open it. In there is the phone of the police in this area. Now listen carefully. Okay. Dial that number there. Huh? Dial the number and call them. Tell them that you've mistakenly shot your girlfriend during a fight. Do it now. Shut up. Shut up. Shoot me, right? <laughs> See, listen. I am leaving this room to hide somewhere else. Now make the call I told you. I said call them. Now make the call I told you. 
just tell them exactly what I told you right now. Outside this room before the police arrive. I will send it to your ancestors with a bullet in your head. Idiot. us to believe that he has the mind to plan, rob and kidnap my son few hours after his father was murdered in cold blood and his mother, his own mother, mercilessly made. How? When did he plan it? At least the robbery. How did he know that my son was in possession of His Majesty's six hundred ninety-six thousand dollars at that material time? And why will His Majesty send my son to the bank with such huge amount of money without an escort? What happened yesterday on their way to the bank? Was it really a coincidence or oh, a carefully planned setup? What? Oh no! What, 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 what? We all know what the tradition says about the landed properties of any man who dies without a son to inherit them. It all goes back to the Igwe. Anyone was murdered in cold blood. Few hours later. What's up, Anyone's son, Anyone son was handed over to the police by you, an accused of armed robbery, kidnap, and possible murder. Three capital. Offenses in the state. How do we explain that? Oh, no. Elders. I am innocent. Really? You are innocent? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, let's put it this way. Against the tradition that you started since you became the Igwe, uh, in which you employ indigents of Ihubi to fill up vacancies in your companies during your birthday celebrations annually, you suddenly broke that tradition and employed two people five long months before the birthday. Those employed were my only son and he knew us only son. Two weeks later, what happened yesterday happened. How do I believe that you have no hand in this? How do I believe that you are not the one engineering this and you are still engineering it to eliminate my family and a new family so that you can possess our lands? Before I, I order my 
my God to give me your empty head on the platter. Get out! Get out! Where am I taking the beat? Now come with me or not. Come, come with me. Come with me, I say.
Thank you. 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 Hello? What? Just tell me you are lying. Are you not? God of mercy. What is going on in this community? It is another murder, your highness. Hey! Mm. The lawyer, Arinze and his sister hired. Huh? was found dead in a bush in our cable. What is happening in our community? Hey! Hey! What is... Clear of the road. Let's pull up. Your Majesty. Uh, uh, Your Majesty, we need to go to the hospital to see a doctor. Immediately. It's yours, Allah. You have been sleeping with your sister's daughter. The one who is in the university. And also staying with you during holidays in your house. I have video evidence to prove it. Oh. Uh, Your Majesty, you, you, you are Stanley. I'm sorry to him. You have you have this kind of I, 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 put it off. Two abortions have been committed by you and the girl in question. There is also a video evidence. About it. Now, do you want me to go public or to disgrace you out of Ube? <laughs> your, your Majesty, please, no. No, please, please, please. Wait, wait, you. It's you, Ozala. Is this a kind it's of. Uh, the so called children, all of them, are the biological children of. One of the Reverend Fathers posted to you. Hey. Hey, hey. You and your wife planned it. Because you are impotent. Hey. I have video evidence to prove it. How do you want me to go public with it? Or do you want me to the scandal to spread in Ihube? 
it will affect you it will affect the reverend father in question Very good. Now, apart from the two of you, has anyone heard about what you know vomited in my palace earlier today? Have you told anyone? Have you? No, 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 no. I just no. Stanley. I quickly dismissed uh, Mazi Chike so that uh, they will not tell him anything. I made sure that they all followed us inside his our car, as he instructed your majesty. As his majesty instructed? I never had any heart attack. I merely faked it to bring you people here. Affected to bring all of you here. For what? Your Majesty. Uh, uh, is there some truth in Onohu's accusation? Do you have a hand in the tragedy that befell Onu, my kinsman, and his family? Eh? Yes. Your Majesty, are you the one who arranged the uh, robbery to set Arinze up? Uh, where, 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 where is Osmond? Did you kill him too? Do you expect me to answer those silly questions? To you? Stanley, Your Majesty, give me that. What? Huh? This is Otarana, <laughs> the deadliest and the most potent totem for swearing in our tradition. <laughs> Otarala kills very disgracefully. Anyone who swore by it and fails to do what is wrong. Swear with Otarala, both of you, that no ear will ever hear what Onu said at our meeting. Or speculate about what happened yesterday. In fact, swear that you will do whatever I ask you to do without any question at all. Should you do otherwise, let Otarala kill you and your entire families. Swear now. But your majesty, you already have damning stuff about both of us. So, I, I... that is to make you swear. And this is to ensure your silence and loyalty forever. Two different things for two different purposes. With your right hand. With your right hand. Link your hands and put them over there. I swear. Take away your hands, you have sworn.
what are we doing in the hotel room? We told me in the car, the doctors finally were able to patch up and make up to the extent to regain consciousness and corroborated my story to the police on tape before she finally died yesterday. For that, all charges against me were dropped today. And I was released to you about an hour ago. So what? Why are we in a hotel room? Instead of us going home to celebrate it. Where is my father? He did not come with me. He traveled. No. So my father is at home. And he did not come to take his son who was granted. He is not aware you have been released. I couldn't tell him. Uh, why? I am his first son. He should be happy that I am out and free from who he knows. He will kill you. Yes, he vowed as much. He found out. Found out what, man? Found out what? The doctor he sent to treat you when you got healed after your arrest last week did not just treat you, Kelly. He obtained some specimen from you for a DNA test on the others of your father. I don't get it. Why would my father order a DNA test on me? From the earliest days of our marriage, we started suspecting that you were not his son. Especially when I had you seven months into our marriage. With the help of the doctor, I convinced him that you were born premature. He started doubting your paternity again after your arrest for murder and the scandalous confession you made about the thefts you made on campus. You can't begin to imagine how many threats we have gotten from members of different court group because of you. He had to do something before things get out of hand. And he or any of your siblings get killed by them. Before I knew what was happening, the test was over and the results out in the public domain. It confirmed that you were not his biological son and your father made a radio announcement about it. Telling all those threatening us to let us be and go for you instead. Since you are not scientifically proven not to be his son. Since then, the threat stopped. I have to rush to sneak you out of the police station before the news of your release goes public. Cortis must be written in the wind to silence you forever. As soon as they can. More than my husband's threats, it is what the devils might do to you that I fear most. I have lost my husband already. Yes, he filed for a divorce after the test. I don't want to lose you too, Kelly. You are my blood. I can't let you die. I can't, my son. My dear son, I am sorry. Who is my biological father? Go ahead for his place, my son. Please. Go to this address in Igumali, at the local government area, Benue State, and meet the man whose name is in this paper. He is your biological father's very close friend. I am sure he will take you to him. Take this too. That's all I could raise for you. My husband ordered my bank account suspended. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> 
How can I stop crying? How can I stop crying? It's simple. The go make go say the go call me. The dead man. The dead can never. Your father, my dear husband, was murdered. I was brutally made blind. And look at you, my son. You were set up, detained, and mercilessly tortured for the crimes you never committed. And the lawyer you paid to help you was murdered just a few hours after getting paid his part payment with your last savings. Look at you. You are facing charges for three capital crimes that you never committed. How can I stop crying? Tell me, how can I stop crying? Eh? Mama, I will survive this. And I will come back to you, Mama. We will pick up the pieces and rebuild our family. Mm -hmm. Okay? You will survive it how? Eh? We don't have any money. Not even to hire a third class lawyer to argue your case. I mean, they tell me who is going to get you acquitted here? Who is going to do that for you? Who is going to take care of your blind mother? Tell me. Me by selling your body. I'm not a prostitute. And I'll never become one no matter what happens. It's alright. No. Choma. Choma. Your recent experience with men should have given you a taste of what lies ahead. The road will be rough. Very, very rough, my children. It is only God. Only God, only Him can help us. Only God can help us, my children. You will never fail us in Jesus' name. Amen. John, take Mama back home. Look for anything, anything whatsoever that you can sell to raise money. At least to sustain yourselves and use the remaining to launch my legal defense. There is, a, there is nothing valuable to be sold except land. Then sell the land. But, but, but not the one that the proposed oil well is to be cited. Not that one. I'd rather go to jail than have that life. So. Don't talk like that. You're not going to jail. You will not go to jail, Arisa. You will not go to jail. This is your father's house. Yes, this is his house. Adaku. It is me, Ozoku. Yes, your landlord in Igumale. Alamoche. Alamoche, babe. Hey, hey, hey. Mama, eh? this way. It's me. What happened to you? Is that really you? When I found out that she, one of my students there, had an affair with my husband, and that she is even pregnant for him, I forgive her, and even ready to allow her to become my husband's second wife. Had it been your grandfather agreed, Eunice, 
would have been here today as one of us. But as a rich and powerful man in Nkume, easily turned people against us after sending your mother away. My husband, out of fear for our safety, he resigned his job at the railway corporation when they refused his transfer. And we quickly ran down to this village. That was the last time I heard about your mother. I have nothing against anyone. Neither did your father. But if you say that what you seek from me is forgiveness, I forgive you from my heart. Yes. My son. Thank you, Mom. Thank you very much. Show me my daughter. Please accept him. Mr. Uzoko here is your father's best friend. And he is a responsible man too. You can never lie about a thing like this. This young man here is your brother. Yes. Mama, please. My head is running riot now. I need to get some rest. Rest, John. Make sure the one going out is yesterday. Good day, Your Majesty. What did you find out? It is true. The young man is living in a chair in Wa's house, as we speak. But from the look of things, the family has already accepted him. No. That must not be. I will not accept that nuisance of the surprise springing up to spoil everything thing for me this late in the scheme. No. Never. How do you want it handled, Your Majesty? You must go. He has to die. Make it look like uh, he voluntarily left. Because of the crisis he found upon his return. Let him leave note behind to that effect. I will get it arranged quickly, Your Majesty. You better do. And last month, what update? My man is on it. He promised to give me results when I called him last night. I don't want surprises. I want Osmond dead. And I want the evidence when it happens. I blame his mess on you. You failed to anticipate it. And you failed also to muster up things to stop it. I pay you, and that's what I'm keeping you for. So 
success and failure have prizes with me. You have received prizes for various successes. The prize of failure is dire and deadly. You must live up to it. Rise up and be sure that you don't get caught by it if you love yourself. I'm not bluffing, Stanley. I don't bluff. Hospital. The DNA test, which he himself paid for. Confirmed that he's our brother. What? Believe me. I did not come back here to make any trouble with any of you. I am sorry that rather than being a pleasant surprise to you people, it turned out to be an added emotional body. Please, lessen the burden for us. Go away. Just just go away for now, please. It's too late, haven't you? How do you mean? He can't go now. Our uncles, Ichiro Deku and Master Chike, told me yesterday that if indeed he is who he says he is, then his coming back has complicated issues for us. I, as a woman, can no longer dispose of any of Papa's belongings. They are now jointly owned properties. That's not possible! He is not... Oh God! Please God help me! Help me! I don't really understand how you feel right now, Amize. You do? Yes. I'll be going back to the village tomorrow, Miss Chum, to do whatever necessary to raise the money to get you out of this place. The test shows that he is indeed my brother. You are welcome home, my son. Uh -huh. You are welcome in our midst, my dear. Thank you, sir. And that is why we called for another family meeting. My husband, dear father, my late husband, and your cousin has to be properly buried. <clears throat> And a good lawyer hired to handle our reason's case. Akosede, we don't have any money. It requires money. My name is Kamasisi, Kamatolo. We don't have anything at the moment. So that is why I also decides to dispose some of my husband's property so that we can do something about it. But we decided to involve you to know how to go about it uh, without falling foul of your customs and tradition. Uh, why still you stop to ask? Um, unless the properties are first shared, or it's only the first son that has the right to sell them. With the concepts of other sons, so. however, 
the property sharing cannot be done without the physical presence of the other sons of the disease. That is how it is. Uh, uh, Rinze authorized me to make the sale on his behalf. No. He can only do that with the family of us in his hand. At least with one of us. The elders of the family as a close witness. My elders, if you're all ready, we can proceed to the police station to get the authorization needed. Wait, if Arise does that, it means that he has relinquished the right he has as the first son of the family. At least all the properties to kill him until the ritual is uh, reversed. In other words, all the properties now becomes Kelly's to do whatever he wishes. Kelly! Uh, God forbid I should place anything above my brother's freedom or any good of this family, now or in the future. <clears throat> Adak and the Choma. You said you never abandon us, Lord. Where are you? My mother and I will take any risk to get Arunze out of that place he's in. Mm, okay, that's okay with me. I will go with you. Hey. In my hand is the offer of our father and ancestors. Our people's symbol of truth, justice, and brotherhood. As the first son of our father, Inua, I remain the rightful holder of the families of four upon his death. Now, in the presence of our kinsmen, well represented by Ichiodegu, I temporarily hand over this offer to you to enable you take care of some of the family's emergencies that my incarceration could not allow me to do by myself. With this, I empower you to dispose of any of our late father's property that you deem necessary to help you carry out your task. This arrangement automatically ends the moment I come out a free man. If you agree, kiss the offer. Henceforth, whatever happens to me or any member of our family is a direct responsibility. Disappointment is not an option. Both the living and the dead are watching you. God is watching you. Don't worry about me, Arizona. I am a man of honor. I will never disappoint you. When your father and I came back to this village, they had all the family's portions of land surveyed and registered at the State Ministry of Land. Even this house and the land upon which it stands 
before the elders of the family. I officially hand them over to you. Yeah, uh, wait, wait, our wife. With what Arinze did today at the police station, it means that Kelly here is the only person who can keep every document pertaining to his father's property. In that case, you will have to release all, not just some, to him. Eh? Hmm. Okay, hold it. That is what our tradition is saying. We have to work according to our tradition. Chama, don't worry. What is with me is with all of us. To me, this is just a ceremony. It changes nothing. Please trust me. Trust you? I don't understand. Trust you with what the family had left in just how many days of meeting you. Oh dear. Listen, I may be in a tight corner, but I am definitely not naive. Alright, sorry to disappoint you. My mother hey, and I. Go and get me the rest of the dog. No. Please, I apologize. On her behalf, she's emotionally unstable at the moment. Please do be on time. Everything to the young man. The final decision was made few hours ago. They are looking for buyers for their portion of lands. Ah, Igwe, as I'm speaking to you now, in fact, the young man is in possession of the document of every land they know what had. Igwe, you know, yesterday, you ordered me to inform you of any happiness in that family. That's why I rushed this morning to intimate you of this new development. Son, don't tell me he's already marked for elimination by you. The information he just brought has 
earned him a few more days on earth. Now, I want that land they are offering for sale. Uh, 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 you want to buy them? Yes. Uh, you and each other will do the transaction for me as soon as the land papers are signed. He will join his father. Hey. Hey. My name is Kelly. Uh, my uncles, Ichi Odeku and uh, Mazi Chiki, told me to come here that you'd be interested in the land my family is. Oh, 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 oh. Do you return the same of Oluwa? <laughs> you are welcome, my boy. You are welcome. Mm -hmm. Oh, you. please have your seat. And, uh, you can see what you are doing. Help yourself too. Hmm? No, Ichi, I, I don't drink alcohol. Mm. Thank you. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> you are welcome. Yes. Uh, Ichi, like I said, my uncles told me to come if you would be interested. With regards to the properties your family is putting up for sale, right? Yes, Ichi. You couldn't have come at a better time. With me here is Mr. Daniel, the operations uh, manager of uh, the construction company. Uh, the government has just uh, awarded uh, uh, a contract uh, to his company to construct uh, a road uh, passing through the kingdom into a modern highway. Mm. He's here on behalf of his company, looking for a place to buy and use as operational uh, base. Uh, Mr. Daniel, this is the young man I was uh, discussing with you a while ago. Yes. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much, sir. Right. Thank you. Uh, we are young man. I am interested in the properties. Uh, there is a proposal that this young man, Mr. Daniel, will want to discuss with you first. I must warn that unless you agree uh, with the proposals, I will not be interested again. Uh, Mr. Daniel, please. Yes, Mr. Kelly. I He has already taken the ones we agreed to sell, nothing more. He has already taken the papers to his lawyer and I made him understand how urgent it is and uh, he has agreed to make payment tomorrow. Hey, that's very fast though. Okay, I will go with you tomorrow to collect the money. In fact, I will want to collect the money myself. Uh, Ichi Ozala insisted that the transaction will be completed at the Igwe's palace and he said he's going to be the principal witness. Uh, from what he said, uh, I don't know how true it is and he said you've been barred from entering the palace. Yes, and he equally said even if the Igwe 
changes his mind and allows you to enter the palace, seeing you, he's going to back off from the ongoing transaction. Okay. That's my husband's best friend we're talking about. Mama. Okay. Your husband's best friend insisted that I must sleep with him before he renders help to us while you were at the hospital. Oh my god. Even a cheer on Sarah. Hi. Don't worry, ma'am. Give and take. By tomorrow, we'll have three million naira in our hand. With such amount of money, I believe the way out of this mess will be wide open for us and our reason. Okay. If His Majesty and each other do not want to see me, no so bad, But I maintain that I will follow you to go and collect the money. I may not enter the palace with you, but I'll wait for you by the own side. Okay, Mama, I don't know. I just know that I will follow him. Thanks, Mama. For agreeing to grace this transaction with your royal presence as my witness. Um, I know you have always been a very close friend to me. But this is one honor from you that I will always appreciate until the day I die. <clears throat> um, Mr. Kelly, you said you want the money in US dollars. Yes, the chief. Yes. My is in that bag. Confirm it. Thank you, Your Majesty. I appreciate. Confirm my as well.
Thank you very much. The properties are ours. You see? Didn't you hear him say he was traveling? That means he did not just dupe us. He also duped his family. Your Majesty, what if he comes back and exposes us? I mean, he did not leave any signature statement for us to work with Your Majesty. I mean, how can we watch something that we've not seen before? See, I don't know what you're thinking. But, for me, I'm not going to let go that $40,000 he took from me. I don't know what you're thinking. But if it has to do with my losing my $40,000 to that Nikon poop, no, never, it will not happen. As for you, you can lose your $13,000 to him, never belonged to you, it was your company's money, that's good for you. As for me, my money is gone, and so, Properties are mine. Your Majesty, my question is simple. What happens if he returns? He dies! He dies if he returns. That's what happens if he dares to return. No one does what he just did to me and lives to tell the story. No one! But who will help us to sign the documents, Your Majesty? Lying so that he can buy himself some more time for a perfect escape. How is it? That is no consolation in this situation. Does he even need to buy more time? I mean, even if he was lying, what money do we have to launch a man for it? We don't have money. We're finished. We are those gone. Where is my sin? What is all sin? What is all sin? 
Didn't you at least inform us, this case man, when he made that request? How can you agree to buy all of anyone's pieces of land just like that? Eh? What do you think His Majesty, Diego, and her people will make of? Uh, my, my please, take His Royal Majesty and our people out of this. Odego, you know me very well. I care less about what people will make out of my ashes on issues of land, provided I did not break any new law, as is the case here. Yes. Come on, gentlemen. Arise's case is a no win case. It is watery. Hmm? His family is obviously refusing to accept that fact. They are so desperate that left on their own, they will not stop selling their properties because of him until everything is gone. And I want to ask a question. In whose house would you want your brother's parcels of land to be? In the hand of a total stranger? Or in the hand of your childhood friend? Which one? In my own opinion, Odeku, I would say that both ends are evil. Hmm? But the condition with what Mazia Osana did is evil. But the evil is lesser. So you concur with him? No, it's a, it's a lesser evil. Oh, good. Thank you very much, Ichechige, for now appreciating that fact. Enuma was a very close friend of mine when he was alive. But I didn't know that that boy would run away with the huge sum of money. I would have insisted in paying that money into Arinze's bank account. But I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I see crisis for that family. I see bigger crisis for them. And that brings me to why I called both of you here. To rub minds together. Eh? As men of like minds. Give me one minute. One minute. One minute. Man, 
One million naira. One million naira. What for? For seeing reasons with me on this issue. Eh? Yes. Look at us. Look at my head. Injury that I sustained while they were forcing us out of my father's compound. <laughs> my father's compound. Look at what they have done to the daughter of a compound. <laughs> the daughter of the family. Look at my black body. Look. Look at what they have done to your own family. Joma. Now you please stop the morning and tell us where you say you are coming to our houses to meet us. <coughs> it's you, Dick. Ajoka, we don't have all the day here. We say whatever you want to say, our ears are listening. Choma, Choma, I did not say Ichi Odeko and Ichi Chike. I didn't know the ones talking. Eh? It will be. My uncle. Biko. We have come to you for help. Biko. Biko. Give him my yaka. Go. Please. Go. Go, go, go. Help us and beg Jesus Allah. Beg him and the company to return. Uh, can't us off any such arrangement. Hmm. What? Yes. Yes. Can't us off anything that has to do with your family and with your problems henceforth. Yes! Isn't it obvious that you people are cause? I don't want my family to be infected by the cause. Stay away from me and my family for now. If you love yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Me too. They are serious. Come on, I will lay a warning. I did not. We are alone for now, Mama. Mama, are we really close? I, 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 I don't know. Are we? Are we, Chama? Hey! What are you people? What have you come to do in my house? It chills out. I cannot see you anymore. Doesn't that touch you? Oh. It is a pity. Then have pity on me. Have pity on your best friend, blind wife, and the family. That is why I give that money to your that young man, Kelly, to take care of your problems. What else do you want from me? In exchange for all the portions of land my husband had, how could you call that pity, Ichiosa? The company that bought our compound, I also heard they came through you. 
deny it. Deny it, it's your sir. I was only trying to help all of you. I was only trying to help you people. I was only trying to help. Ichi, it is not my voice that you are hearing. It is the voice of grief. The voice of my late husband, your best friend. Ichi, if my husband was given a chance to make a preparation before his death, he would have handed us over to no one else but you and His Majesty. Please, I beg you, have mercy on me, the blind widow and the orphan before you. Please, I beg you. How? Return at least half of our land to us. Prevail on the company that bought our compound to vacate so that we will move in immediately. That is the only thing I ask of you each year. Mm. Okay, agreed. But you get the money I paid uh, for the land you are referring to. And the one the company paid for the compound, you get all of it. And uh, you will get all your properties today. Ichi, Ichi, Kelly has disappeared with all the money. Mm -hmm. What fault of mine is that? Hmm? You find him and beg for mercy, and not me. Ichi, please. We just need somewhere to stay. Pico. Ah. There is nothing impossible in getting a place for you both, Joma. <laughs> but you see, my demand still stands. What? Ichi! What? What demand? Don't tell me it's true that you want to sleep with Choma. What about that? No, tell me, what about it? Is she not a full-grown woman? Just like I am a full-blooded man. And no one! My grief and tears and rise. No Let there be no peace for the man before God, us today and the rest of his Can't life. A woman, your life is already the opposite of peace. Both of you, get out of my compound now. Get out. Let us leave my grandfather before I get. Where are you? God, where are you? Majesty, make a new heaven before there. Let us leave, Majesty. Don't have any prisoners in this palace. Where are you? In this palace, it's a useless mother. Now, get out! Where are you? Where are you? I'm not gonna fight me. Let me, let me and my mother beg you. Oh, please, 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 What is happening here? What is 
second shot, somebody will drop dead. Mama, Mama, let's go in where I'm going. Mama, Wait, 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 Shoma. Um, tell me, where did you finally erect the house? Ma, the same place I told you now. Shoma, come. Don't go in where. Shoma, a house built on the forbidden land? Shoma, a place where the shrine of a destroyed fetish god used to stand? Mbana. Take me out of here, Choma. Mama. Mama Pico. This is not easy for me. It's not. The Igwe I have told you issued a royal decree barring everybody from Ihube land from ever accommodating us. In compliance, everyone has rejected us. Including our own church leaders. I had no choice. I had no other option left than to put up this place with the materials I got from the neighboring community. Seeing that this place is the only place where the Igwe cannot determine what happens in. According to our traditions, only the chief priest has such powers. And he is not yet back to the kingdom. Mama, see how God works. It was a Mecca the madman that came from nowhere. Saw me struggling to erect this place and started helping me without being asked to. Till we finished. He neither behaved like a madman, nor said a word. And when we were done, he left, still saying nothing. What does that tell you? Is God not great? Are we not serving a miraculous God? I mean, if God can use a madman to give us accommodation, after all we have been through in the last couple of days, Mama, the best we can do is to gratefully move in and make use of what has been given. Stop, Chama! Stop it! What is all this for? I will never. I will never live in a place set aside for the gods. Why you came up with this idea yesterday? Shoma, I told you. I told you that this place belongs to the spirits. Are you not afraid of... No. I am not afraid. But I am tired. Am I not tired? We are tired now. Oh, we couldn't... Mama, let's go inside, oh? We don't have any other choice. Mama, look. It looks like it's about to rain. Would you rather we sleep in the cold again? As has been the case in the last couple of days. Oh. If it rains, it promises to be a heavy downpour. Really? You know what? You know where na kwele, na kwele no wa. Igwe, it will never be well with you. Ichi Ozara, Kelly, and anyone else 
that has a hand in reducing me to this. God will punish you all. Hey, 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 Chuku. How on earth can we raise 50,000 naira in this our present condition? How? Chuku, Kike. Chuku, no be a belly piano. Be conu. I have been thinking. Since we left the court house, perhaps if we can start some form of enterprise where income will flow in from, it will go a long way. Enterprise? Yeah. Huh. Sure, ma. Mama. Are you looking at your partner before thinking about all that? Your hungry, blind mother. What can this partner do? Mama, you can make brooms. Can you? I mean, you can make brooms for sale even in your condition. Brooms? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Then let us make brooms for sale. The money might not be a lot, but small small will be gathering it. You are right. But what quantity can we be able to produce daily that will give us the amount of money we are talking about? I don't know, Mama. But anything is better than not. No one can help us, God. Anything is better than nothing. Shoma, there is one more problem. Where do you think we will get the raw materials from? Hmm? Mama, they say where there is a will, there is always a way. And in this situation, the will is not lacking. That means I cannot suffer for what he knows nothing about. We won't let that happen. Yes. Yes, my son Arunze. You will not suffer for what you know nothing about. You will not suffer. Oh. Chuku Kike. Chuku Kike Biao. Chukwu, 
Can you see how you are reducing yourself to nothing? For what? Eh? It's yourself. I beg you in the name of my late father. Let me be. Please. Shama, I won't let you be. I won't let you be. Jump into the car. And let us go and... And have sex. Uh, of course. Of course. Eh? Listen, after that, your life and that of your family will never remain the same again. Forever! It's It looks to me like you are the one. You are the one behind all my family has been going through from day one. Just to frustrate me into sleeping with you. Okay? God forbid. Why would you think that? Why? In other words, you are only but a wicked man. A wicked man who is exploiting his late friend's tragedy and that of his family just to achieve his sexual desires. Choma, 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 you are taking this out of context. Yes. What did you want from me? As always, sex. Sex. Eh? <laughs> Listen, if you are now ready, my car is free. Come on, come on. Hmm? <laughs> Where do you want it? In your car or in your house? Achoma, you know I am a titled man. We should go to my house. <laughs> Uh, it's beautiful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good. I'd love to kiss your hand too. Oh, really? Okay. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hey. Hey. It's just a thing. The next time you try this concept with me, it will not be your fingers I will bite, but I will chop off your manhood. Oh! Yes! 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 I will chop off your manhood. Hey! Stinking old man like you! With none of our wages, we are wicked! Put your own fucking ass man's brain! It will never be there with you! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! In your next world, it will never be fresh! You have seen the entire fan line. I want you to read it thoroughly and cultivate. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it very well. The reason why I'm asking you is that if it is not well done, my father will not pay you. You know my father. He will not pay you. I will do it very well. You don't have to worry. So, how much is good for you to do the job? Any amount you, you think is good enough, it's okay by me. What manner of bargaining is that? Can't you mention any amount? Well, I haven't done this type of work in somebody's farm before so i don't even know what to bag in or how to bag in it okay okay okay. you know what once you are done with the job i'll tell my father to pay you three thousand naira. deal if it's okay by you it's fine Did I say something wrong? No, 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 no. As soon as you start the job, come to me for your morning, afternoon, and evening meal. And as soon as you finish this one, remember the first portion of land I showed you? Of the land. Yes. Thank you. Mama, 
Mama, like we discussed earlier, you will do the selling alone. If you do not trust the buyer and the money you were given, people, you're somebody. Beg somebody to help you identify the money. Can you go? I will be off to Papu Bioma's farm now to start the weeding and cultivation job that I got. And I will be back later in the day to take you home. Can you go? Oh, good evening. Oh, good evening. Welcome. Now, 100 Naira. No, 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 wait. Are you sure this is 100 Naira? Yes, my 100 Naira. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. me some cassava to use as my meals for the two days I'll be working in their farm. Hey! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, whoa! Hey, fat, fat cassava. Hey! Feel it. Abu ke emeka? Yes! Hey! If you call a kaji? Hey! Mama, guess what I want to do with them? I want to process it into Gary. Hey, Gary? I, I think I have a better idea. Tapioca. Tapioca. Yes, guys, Abacha. Nyano, it can easily be sold. Eh? And we'll make money out of it. If we do that, what are we then going to eat? Tapioca too? Yes, Choma. Tapioca is good food. I think with that idea of tapioca, we'll make it sell and make more money, buy more cassava, buy foodstuffs and make savings. The broom business is still there. Nobody is touching it. Hmm? What do you think, my daughter? It's a good idea. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Let me drink what I eat right. Yeah. Then I'll come back and begin to clean it. Let me. Chauva, Bring some more. Let me help you. Yes, mama. Eh? Your sister is trying now. Hmm? She's struggling. We'll soon come out. Okay. Please, I don't have my own. Don't worry. 
Put off your mom. She's fine. She's at home. Hey, greet her. Greet her. Bye. annoying to kill. I've had enough of surprises. Enough! Your Majesty, the prospect of them raising money needed to successfully defend Arinza's case is not there at all. To me, they are just surviving from it. Defended at all. You got a chain to bank it. A bank it. Anyhow, you look at it. Eyebrows will be raised by people the moment the location of the oil wells becomes public knowledge. People will suddenly realize. But those oil wells were located in Enua and on those lands. If by then any soul from those two families still survives, another surprise might spring up from unexpected source and then I might end up the ultimate loser. You want all of them dead? All of them. Maybe in less dramatic Osmond, Marisa, Chioma, and Adako. All of them. You got a chain to bank it. A bank it. Well, the summary of it all is that his spirit was quite lifted on hearing our progress so far. Hey! Like us, He's swimming in hope. Hope that this whole crisis is coming to an end by God's grace. Oh, I can't wait to hold him in my arms as a free man. I know, Mama. You will. You hold him. Here. I bought snacks for you. The yeah. same place I bought for him. Yeah. Hey. That would be a change of diet for him. <laughs> huh? That's true. Ah, shall I share this one? Huh? I, I don't want Mama eat all of it. I am too hungry for this. What I need is solid food. Eh? Yeah. There is soup inside though. You can make it up for yourself. Ah, 
Não, mas qual qual eu... Olha lá, um pouquinho. Ele vai lá. Dá lá. Tem um lado. Isn't your mother too? Huh? You are under arrest for deliberate food poisoning. Arrest her. Hey! Mama! Mama! Wait, wait! My mother is lying down on court shock. I want to defend her. Arrest her! Mama! 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 I did not do it at all, I did not. Don't you even dare to lie about it. John, after me, you remorselessly went back home to do the same thing to Mama. A blind widow. How dare you? What come over you? How can you even believe that? That I will poison your snacks? What would be my game? Freedom. You want the freedom to go away. And then what? Stop it! Stop for a moment and think. If freedom from the crisis in our family is what I desire, why would I want to kill any of you to achieve that? I mean, I can simply just go to any big city, join these girls that live properly and live life on the first place without having to soil my hands with blood. My own blood! Without killing us, will be a big scare on your conscience wherever you go. The thought of us will never allow you to enjoy your freedom. That's why you did it. Deny it. Deny it, Shama. Assuming you were right, which do you think will be the biggest scare to my conscience? Abandoning both of you? Okay. Or killing my own blood brother and my mother. Which? Listen, Shama, I don't ever want to set my eyes on you. Again, whatever happens, henceforth, I don't want you getting involved in my case. If they wish to roast me alive, get away. Let them do it. Just pray. Pray that nothing happens to Mama. Pray that she survives just like my Some men who ate my own snacks did. Just pray, Shama. Pray! Suffering, Lord, where are you? God, where are you? 
That is Theodosia. Here. There is 500,000 Naira in there. Sorry, Your Majesty. I... I... I mean, why, why, why would you invite me to your palace to give me such a huge amount of money? Um, we've never met before. Well, we're meeting now. And you're the richer for it by half a million naira. Isn't that something to be grateful for? Your Majesty, I am an apostle of the nothing goes for nothing philosophy. So, uh, why are you... I am paying you to back off a reason in the worst case. What? You volunteered to represent him in that case without a fee. Now, you have been paid a huge sum of money. Why, Your Majesty? You really want me to answer that? Um, yes, and um, it is only on that condition that I will do what you want me to do. Barista, it does him. Is there anything you think a billionaire, first class, traditional ruler who has paid you a huge sum of money to back off a case cannot do to have his way? I trust in my life, Your Majesty. Smart after all. We brought you to Bete, a Bete, a Kenibu, a Kenibu, a Kenibu for Chodu, a Kenachu, a Kenibu, a Kenibu, a Kenibu, a Kenibu for Chodu, a Kenachu, a Kenachu. Very successful after all. Mm. Mm. Very successful. Especially the Chiamas side of it. Has Dr. Sam called you to give an update on the mother's state of health in that cell center? Yes. He called me before the barrister arrived and said that the woman has regained consciousness. Mm. She has? Yes. He said that her grief, after she has told what happened, has been overwhelming. And uh, since then, she has refused to talk to anyone or agreed to be talked to. Uh, she has buried him herself in her own grief and uh, bemoaning endlessly. Your Majesty, do I administer a lethal injection as we planned? No. Not now that she has uh, regained consciousness. Um, nothing dramatic for now, remember. Um, we'll have to find another way of eliminating her pretty soon. For now, I am more interested in Osmond. Call the 
guy that's searching for him. I want to talk to him now. They took everything. I came back from the hospital and found the woman Chioma and I saved gone. All of it. Nothing was left at all. Huh. Bravo. Bravo to the evil one. They finally won. Don't, don't talk like that, Tarizi. Evil can never win a just war. Ours is not a just war, Mama. It's a war of treachery, of evil and death. There is nothing just about it. Now that it is obvious that a monstrous evil person somewhere was responsible for everything. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand it. Choma was set up. The lady that sold the snack to her has disappeared. What? Not just that. The lawyer who volunteered to handle my case left me a while ago. He has dropped the case, Mama. And now you've lost all your money. It's over. Over my mother won. Check and chill. Chill. What are you saying? Are you trying to Mama? I'm trying to say nothing. But bravo to the evil person that is responsible for all this. They've won. It's over, Mama. It's over. Can't you see the way we are supposed going to sit up there and be quiet. interested in the money as I am in, interested in Asmon's death. Do you hear me? Go ahead and kill him immediately, even if he does not talk about the money. Yes. It's all right. See, just go ahead and chop off his useless head, decapitate it, and then 
get me video evidence. I will do exactly as you said. I hope you have uh, you have things uh, the two necessary tools to use in capturing. Go ahead, do it. Then bring the video evidence to me, and I will pay you handsomely. In fact, I'll pay you more than double. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Thank you for making my day. Hey, this is this is what I call surveillance. This is what I call successful mission. Good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> He told you to kill me. He said I should behead you. I'll record it on video. I'll bring it to him as evidence. Hey, please, please, don't do such a thing to me, please. I beg you, God's name. Please, don't kill me. I don't want to die. You know what? See, I still have four hundred fifty thousand dollars of His Majesty's money. Okay? Spare me. I promise I will share the money with you. I will share it with you fifty-fifty. Please. Too late, bro. His Majesty is more interested in your death than the money. And the man you are talking to is a co-professional. I am not interested in your offer. Bruce, hmm? that's a huge amount we are talking about here. That's a huge money. See, we are talking about $450,000. Not, not $450,000. Huh? Think of what this money can do for you and your family now, please. Don't you mean? Let me tell you something. His Majesty is a bloodthirsty madman. He will just wait like a common dog. Huh? He will not give any time of what he promised you. Look, let me tell you something. Hmm? I promise. I'll make you a millionaire instantly. If only. I said I'm not interested. Save your breath. You have a zero hour now. Please. Please. Don't kill me now, please. I beg you. Don't kill me. I beg you, brother. I don't want to die. Hey. Hey. God. What are you doing? I'm going to have one fun with me. Or what I'm about to do. wanted it. Tomorrow I will go personally and see the state governor and ensure that he signs the death warrant in two weeks time. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Not yet. Not yet, Stanley. Sit down. Chioma and her mother are still alive. Your man, Ken, is yet to confirm with a video evidence the death of Osmond. Six days after he called to say that he had him. And since then, his phone has been switched off. Your Majesty. 
I have told you not to worry about Ken. If there is anyone that I trust after myself, it's him. And I must tell you that Ken loves surprises more than anything. And I believe that he is at it again with this. I hate surprises. How many times will I tell you that? I will not believe. There is nothing that will make me believe that Osman is dead until I see the video evidence. Period. In that case, I will go for him myself if after two days from today, if he did not show up with the evidence. Meanwhile, I want Ichio Zara and Ichio Deku permanently out. They know too much. Tomorrow, you will get them out of the way without any trace. I have paid Inspector Bussi to go to Chioma's cell and poison her. The same tomorrow, you will pay her mother a visit. Inform her. But then she will be grieving. Then you will kill her. Make it look like she died out of overwhelming grief. About time we cleaned the chamber. <laughs> then it's the time to celebrate. Consider it done, Your Majesty. Consider them done. Mother been informed. Oh yes, Corporal John was sent to go and inform her, and I made sure that there was no mention of poison in their report. She was found dead in her cell, and she will be buried before nightfall, as you instructed. Excellent. Excellent. In the next one hour, you 
will visit Adako. Hmm? Silence her permanently so that we know that that side is done away with. Once that's done, you will ensure that the cheer will take over and the cheer Do not return to Yube. Let them go from wherever they are. The governor has signed the execution warrant of Arinze, just like I wanted. I wired 500,000 Naira to the account of the prison officials, the head. He will be executed immediately they get the order. Everything is falling in place nicely. It remains finding Kelly and Kane. I want them dead too. Consider it done, Your Majesty. I told you to stay back after a snack's poison. I will make sure that the story is told in such a way that nobody will ever suspect that you poisoned the snacks you sold to Joma at the prison gate. No, no, you run away, almost rubbishing the entire operation. Now you're back here to my palace. My palace of all places. Why? I need more money, Your Majesty. I paid you 500,000 Naira for that deal. I just realized the money is too small, Your Majesty. I need to leave this country for the US. And you will arrange that for me. You will also give me 15,000 US dollars. Or I will tell the police and the public about what we did. Now 
stop moving slowly. Papa, no. please. Your mother is risking my life. No, no, no. Have their day, and today is their day in Ibube. Ha! How come? You want to ask? Come in. Come in, please. The blood of all the people you've killed have finally reached the ears of the Lady of Justice, and she has brought judgment your household today your highness no one wins forever no evil plan is ever foolproof your majesty Stanley you lied to me why why that's not the case, Your Majesty. All of us were lied to and betrayed by all these officers. Can't you see the cuffs in my hands? Look at Daniel too. We did not betray anybody. We only did what is expected of us. When Osmond and Kelly came to us three days ago to tell us what has been happening here. The drama about Choma's death earlier today in our office was just an evidence gathering exercise. Choma! Chioma, come. And having gathered enough evidence, may I have the honor to tell you that you have the right to remain silent. Because anything you say again might be used against you in the court of law. Officer, arrest him. You better change to bank or bank. You better change to bank or bank. You better change to bank or bank. Lord, can't you 
Kingdom. God, where are you? Take this. Take, take. Go with truth and justice. I've delivered my message. Ha <laughs> ha! 